Hi guys, welcome to day 19 of my daily challenge to train and learn. Today is Friday the 21st of January 2022. Uh, the training today is a, it's been a 7.5k run, we'll see if we can squeeze some burpees in later, but uh, I'm currently up the top of a big uh, hill, Raybold Hill, as you can probably see from the view. Um, so it's been a bit of a, quite a hill run to get here and uh, sweaty again. Um, the lesson for today is about training to win. So whatever you might be doing, um, it's about training to win, not training to lose or to fail. And I know we've talked about pushing to failure, which is very important. Um, training to win. So uh, when I was instructing in the tactical response, response group, whether it was uh, new recruits teaching them from scratch or, or even um, experienced operators, we always set up training when we knew better to, to win scenarios basically to have more wins than losses so we still wanted we still wanted to push to failure and have losses and learn from them and uh, step back and do it right but it's important to have more wins than losses um, because when you're going into that real firefight or the the real job and things are going wrong you've got you've always got that mindset that yep no problem whatever the scenario is we're going to win this it's not that you look at the um the old days of uh you know, back in the maybe 70s, 80s military, basic military training, they used to train to, and even even areas like tactical response group, there'd be some training where you'd get shot and you'd go down or you would, you'd, um, hypothetically you'd be shot for the scenario and you'd go down or if something goes wrong, you go down, you're out of the fight. And that would happen quite a lot. Um, and what they found in some of the earlier wars was that, particularly in areas like uh, Africa and things like that, was that uh, there was research done American soldiers and other and other Western civilization soldiers were getting hit, uh, getting shot once, maybe twice, and they were going down and they were out of the fight. Whereas the um, the African uh, rebels or whoever they were fighting at the time, they were getting shot five, six, seven times and they were still running and fighting and carrying on, um, which caused a major problem. And there was research done into, into what was going on um, it was because at that time the the Western civilization watched they trained they trained where to the point where they got shot they had to go away deal with it they were out of the fight and also a lot of the TV shows were like Western cowboy shows where the cowboy gets shot once or someone gets shot once and they fall off the horse dead so in the minds of um, the Western warriors uh, military they were they believed that if they got shot, they were out of the fight, and that was basically what was happening. Whereas the African um, fighters, they didn't have any, they had no idea of that. They just thought, oh, that hurts, so I'll carry on. So they, it was purely a mindset thing. Um, so yeah, put that back into perspective with the tactical response group training. So we would set up scenarios uh, on training days where, you know, fairly basic and building up to more advanced, but you're, you're gonna win the first few scenarios. There's a point where you're going to lose a scenario. You're going to, you know, things aren't going to go perfectly, um, and then you're going to have we have debriefs every time. Now, if that if that scenario didn't go perfectly, um, there's no we wouldn't talk about it and say we could have done this better, we could have done that better, and then pack it up for the day and go home. We do that scenario again, and we'd have a win. If we didn't have a win, we do that scenario again. We'd finish on a win. Um, you look at you know great footballers and things like that. Anyone practicing kicking a goal, they're not going to kick a hundred goals and finish on a uh, kick to point or miss, miss the goal, they're not going to pack up, grab their balls and go home, they're going to keep kicking until they have a few in a row of goals and then off they go. So finish on a win, train to win, push to failure and then finish on a win. So that's it for today, thanks for listening and I'll see you tomorrow.